PlayStation is apparently courting South Korea. They have now two partnerships, basically, that they are going to be working with. The first one is Shift Up, which is the company that is making Stellar Blade. If you remember, that game was originally announced as Project Eve, and then later on they were having some development trouble, so PlayStation stepped in and they said, hey, you know what, we're going to help you out, we're going to give you some extra funding and all that, but you got to make your game exclusive as a result, which is unfortunate because it had originally been announced as a multi-platform, so that's not a great look. I wish that it had stayed multi-platform, but whatever. But they came in, and so now they've officially said that Shift Up is now an official second-party company. So it looks like this might be a response to what we had before with Microsoft just buying up a bunch of companies. Here now it looks like PlayStation is like, hey, we're just going to sign deals with companies and say, we don't officially own you, but uh, we have special deals and relationships as a second party. So that seems to be what they're doing. But now they also have a special deal with NCSoft. And you might have heard of them because that is the company that makes Guild Wars. And so apparently Sony's relationship with them is more for the mobile side. So it looks like Sony wants to get into mobile gaming and they are going to use NCSoft's know-how to help them break into that. So it looks like PlayStation is looking into Korea for possible new developments of the future. That's a very good take. Mobile game makes lots of money, even if we know that uh, we three old grumpy uh, guys don't really like mobile game. Phil would tell you different, I'm sure, if he was here. That's just a very intelligent thing to, to, do, to go to the mobile world for Sony. Like, it's a good like uh, cash stream to access. I think it's, this is going to be interesting, especially like in the mobile space, because especially with Asian companies like Sony going after South Korean companies, South Korean companies in the last few years have taken a lot of money from China. And I don't know if you guys saw the news this week, ByteDance's gaming arm is shutting down forever. And ByteDance is the owner of TikTok, and TikTok is the multi-$40 $40 billion company. And they're done with gaming. Nuverus also had their arms in uh, a bunch of other companies around the world. So this is, of course, is connected to what's going on with China at the moment. The big news yesterday is Zhongshi, which is a Chinese shadow bank, which is the coolest name, but also a bad name at the same time has announced that they are insolvent, right? They're again, another multi-billion dollar bank. And I think the gaming universe is really going to change significantly. We know Tencent, right? Tencent is a big funder of Epic. And of course, Tencent has other investors or people who give them money. Genshin Impact is going to be infected. Honk Hyo Star Rail is going to be infected because affected. I can't know why I keep saying infected. Affected. So the Adam's story just makes me think of that. Is yeah, what's gonna the gaming universe for mobile games is really gonna shake up in the next six months because all these people who previously where money was completely free in their home country of China or China was completely using that extra barrels of cash they had now doesn't have those barrels of cash anymore and they're like okay we need to get out of gaming not because the government told us not because we just don't have money to give you guys anymore and and that's gonna cause a problem I think. 